What Reality Capture offers is the ability to quickly, easily, and cheaply capture reality, bring it into the design space, and design in context. And the reason why I think it's such an exciting development is because reality capture actually bridges the divide between the physical world and the digital world. The whole technology behind reality capture means that our customers can start with the objects that already exist in the real world as opposed to a blank screen. Everything that our customers do in their daily work is really part of the existing world. It doesn't really matter if they're building a component which is part of a machine or the machine which is part of a factory or a factory that is part of a city. Everything is part of something else. So having that in-context information for your design work really changes the way that our customers will do design going forward. Webcore Builders works in tight urban settings. So for us it's a very important component to capture the reality which means the existing buildings next to the job site so that we can plan site logistics and actually the execution of our project. The other type of uh, reality capture is when we uh, expand or build into existing facilities. So what we need to do there is we need to capture the reality which is the existing facility that we now tie in hundreds of different building systems into the existing system. The benefit for our customers, they're always looking at better ways to get the data to them. And what we're finding is with our uh, client base, the intelligent level is going up. So they want to see everything as a 3D model. And then also they want to be able to take that 3D model and bring it to meetings and show their clients or show their constituents what that data looks like. I think it makes a significant difference, not just in terms of time, but in terms of the actual quality of the answer, because our customers will then be working with the real world objects as opposed to a digital representation. Reality capture is, of course, going to be important to our customers, and it's really about speed and accuracy. The speed at which I can capture reality is far greater than traditional surveying methods. We have much more accuracy and precision about what we've captured. We can go out and capture an entire factory and later decide what measurements I actually need, rather than having to do all the planning for a surveyor ahead of time. Today with reality capture, we can actually go in and scan the entire surrounding area and uh, capture what took us months before in a matter of minutes and visualize it then in a virtual environment. If we can go out in the field one time and scan that project, whatever it may be, and be able to bring that data back into the office, it's gonna save us uh, a lot of money on the back end just due to the fact that we do not have to go back out in the field once again and resurvey that information. It's kind of a forensic survey of that area. If you look at today's reality capture workflows, they require a very high skill set to be able to work with this data and get anything useful out of it. What we're trying to achieve here at Autodesk is that we bring this workflow and make it mainstream and make it usable by the, the bulk of our average users. Autodesk plans to be different in the reality capture space by democratizing this technology. Certainly the hardware is being democratized rapidly. Our role is to make it simple to use, integrate it into design products so that it becomes part of a process, and make technology that can scale to very, very large data sets. We want customers to really get the maximum and most accurate context of where their design is going to exist. We will continue to invest in this space and lead in reality capture.